forum is intended to solve problems and that's why we are actually picking on the stakeholders to please give input to how we can further progress with solving the problems and more specifically the NTBs. So that's the vision of this too, to make it interactive and to solve problems rather than just to listen to presentation. The SATA is now uh, in the mainstream of the trade facilitation uh, program that is being spearheaded by Trademark Southern Africa. And uh, the meeting today uh, is uh, also symbolic that uh, FESATA has is, is, is utilized the database of NTBs reported in the online system as the key document that has been uh, uh, debated and uh, discussed at this meeting. The Tribal Red and Tariff Barriers uh, Monitoring and Eliminating System um, comprises uh, two instruments. Um, the reporting tools, which is an online reporting method. The stakeholders will submit their complaints into a website, www.tradebarriers.org, or alternatively, we have a new uh, system that we've just launched where stakeholders can just send uh, short messages, SMSs through their cell phones to report the complaints or to report the problems that are they, they're encountering. The challenges we encounter is uh, basically the unpredictability of what's happening at border posts. Um, trucks can arrive at border posts and then suddenly there's additional fees that needs to be paid. Yeah, but not for business people like us, time is the money. So as long as the, uh, the, the, the clearance of the cargo, the loading, the port delay, then you go on the roads, the way bridge, the oil delay, the police roadblocks and the borders themselves, there is also the aim. Border posts are a big problem for us because delays in transport will cost money and they cost big money. If you have to look at, take the number of days that you're unproductively working and you'll be horrified to see how many months of the year you're actually not working. But your overheads remain the same and your cost structure remains the same. So you've got to carry those overheads for that length of time. If we can give everybody results, you'll have a lot of people on your side and there'll be a lot of people backing you. The NTB SME system, which has recently launched in Lusaka uh, in April, uh, was a very welcome development. Because what it is, is it's really getting onto the ground to, to give a tool to the people that are on the ground, people like drivers, people like our clearing agents, like our freight forwarders, our cross-border traders, so that when there is an issue, they communicate there and then when it is happening. At least it's easier. And it give, also gives access to those people that have got issues and that they have no, that have no inter, inter, access to the internet. Uh, it's my first time I participate in, in this forum and I thought it was extremely useful uh, and very practical. Not only we talked about um, issues that are that concern the life of the industry itself. Well, I think in many respects the forum is quite unique in terms of bringing stakeholders together from different backgrounds, sharing of ideas, um, appreciating what the problems are that are faced by, by various stakeholders and discussing them and trying to reach solutions and a number of solutions have been reached and I think that's positive progress that can be carried forward in future. So it, it has been a very, very um, successful forum. Working together with the NTB system, the tripartite NTB system and ourselves, Fasata and the road transport industry, together we actually are making a difference and some of the stakeholders have come up with some very useful inputs. We've resolved 14, as you know, in Lusaka uh, and I'm thinking that from this forum there's going to be another four or five at least that we will resolve.